What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to do a redstone tutorials. So if you hear any noise in the background, please try to excuse it as I am not home right now. So uh, let's get started. We are doing a double door with a single pressure plate using redstone wiring today. And um, a lot of people have been trying to figure out how to do this if they're new to Minecraft. Uh, I understand it took me quite a while to figure out redstone. And um, it's basically little tutorial to help you guys like know what to do so basically when you have um when you're playing minecraft and you have a door and a pressure plate usually it only each pressure plate only opens the door in front of it but if you wire the redstone like this without like i only have uh the hole down here for display purposes because if you have your redstone like this the uh the glass doesn't count as a full block so it lets this happen so even if i put glass here it's not going to cut off the signal and it'll only open one but since you have it ones in the back to have this side open as well it works Usually you want to have this signal cut off in between these two so it lets it know that it wants to go toward this block right here. So um you just want to have it like this and usually you will have a block like that that cuts it off and as you can see it is heading straight into the block that the door is on. So say you're running from a monster. Let's grab a monster. So let's have a witch chase us or no. Which is just throw stuff at you. Let's have a zombie pigman chase us. Oh, forgot. Alright, so if a zombie pigman's chasing us and we're running, we can just run through the doors here like that. And hopefully, you have, um, you can also use, you can also use buttons. You can put buttons right here. I will show you right now. Get a button out. Okay, you're getting in my way. It's not nice. Die. Get out of my way. Oh, I dropped that. Sword. Alright. You can use a button. It also powers that one right there. So, uh, say, again, if a zombie pigment is chasing us. We can run up and get through here before the uh, zombie pigmen can get inside. And then it also works on this side if you wire it again. Again, you don't want to have it like this. You want to have it just like that. So, um. Oh, yeah, here we go. Just like that. Make sure it's always cutting the redstone signal off so that it can go straight into the block the door is sitting on. Let me turn my volume down. There. Now turn it up a little bit. It's really loud. Don't know why it's really loud, but um, let's get on with how to build this. Put it on today, and I think this command works. Nope. So what you will need is, let's just get this. You will need ten pieces of redstone, your doors, and uh, two pressure plates. So let's get our stuff. Now you also need something to mine with. Let me just get a pickaxe and we will go into game mode zero. Alright. Hopefully these monsters aren't going to come and attack me. But uh, there's our doors just like that. I'm going to want to have that one out because we're always... Who, do, who just has random doors sitting around like this? You're always going to have like some sort of wall on the side here. It's going to look something like that so you're always gonna have a wall built up maybe if it's your house or something but um no one just has a random door sitting around 
So you're gonna go down two on that one. Down two. Down two. And you're gonna go underneath and go over twice. And down two and down two. So now you have a little trail leading underneath these two blocks. You're gonna want to put your two pressure plates down right there. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna wire the redstone just like this. Going right into the door and around into the uh underneath this and into the next side. Then you're gonna go put your blocks and cover back up and you can have like a wall if you want to there just like this so there's our wall and there's the doors working and the reason this works is because one one pressure plate sends power to this side and up and toward that side and up now if you want the back side to work too you will need an extra two redstone or uh, extra two pressure plates and one, two, about six pieces of redstone. I'll, uh, it's not enough, I'll remember to give you some more. So put two pressure, two pressure plates right there. And then we're going to dig down twice below each of them. Or no, yeah, dig down twice below each of them on both sides. So, uh, twice on that side and twice on that side. And then we're going to go underneath again and mine out a hole or a tunnel, if you want to call it, underneath them. Now you're going to connect that, connect the previous redstone wiring all the way underneath to the new one. So yeah, six is just enough redstone and you're going to want to cover it right back up. So now it's going to work on this side as well. So same exact thing over here we basically have our redstone going underneath like that which is happening in that over there and then it comes up into the block that the door is sitting on which propels the redstone into the door so that is about it guys and also if you want you can put buttons on the bottom block um, I might it's a little bit more bulkier this is just the most compact way you're going to have to add another set of blocks here so your uh, pressure plates are going to be back here. You're going to have to add more blocks here to cover up more redstone wiring coming out if you want to be able to put your button up here. So, thanks for so watching guys. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.